Hey everybody, Sponge Murphy here and welcome to the first Warhammer news video for the channel. Time permitting, I'm going to cover some weekly Warhammer news from the internet, but more specifically from the Warhammer community website. But the most important part of the videos is your thoughts on these news bites. So make sure to let me know in the comment section below and let's just jump straight into the news. So the first thing is something that has came completely out of the blue. But Games Workshop has announced that they're now teaming up with Marvel Comics to create Warhammer Comics. For some reason, if you're unfamiliar with Warhammer and you've been living under a rock for the last 10, 15, 20 years, they're a comic book company that created Spider-Man, X-Men, Captain America, The Avengers, Iron Man, and tons, tons more. Now very little information is given to us at the moment, but the release date is set for autumn 2020. But the only detail I can see other than the rough release date is that the article did mention that you are to go over to the 40k and Age of Sigmar Facebook page for discussion. So it looks like it's going to be 40k comics as well as AOS. The second thing I'm going to talk about is Warcry. Games Workshop has said that the current Warcry starter site isn't going to be around for much longer. It could be gone by the time of writing this, but they have said that the terrain from the site is going to be available separately before long. But they have also said that a new book with all the Warband rules is being released. But the biggest news is they showed two new Warcry models and said two new Warbands are on the way. A barbarous pit fighter from the Spire Tyrants and a beast called Farmerid Crusher. And now switching to 40k, a new model for the Drakari has been shown and it is a beaut. From the info given on the article, Drazire, the master of blades, is a stone cold killer. And the model really shows this. No date has been given, but they have given us a look at his weapon stats and his ability, lethal precision. It's that time of year again when Christmas is just around the corner and the GW Christmas model is here. And this year it's the Red Gobble. Of course this model is based on an older model with the same name and was the leader of the Rebel Grotz on Gorkamorka and he was the head of the Committee of Grotz. What buddy? Important news just coming in there. But I think last year's model was the White Dwarf in the Space Marine armor. So it's nice to see him carrying on the tradition of a Christmas model. And finally we come to the latest warband for Warhammer Underworlds. The Grimwatch are a warband of Crypt Ghouls and they are gorgeous. Each model stands out as an individual and on the Warhammer community site they give us loads of details and stats of the warband. But most importantly they're getting a release date this weekend which is the 5th of October. Over. So keep an eye out for them because these are definitely going to go on my list of models to buy. So that is it for this week's Warhammer news. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. The biggest piece of news this week is of course the license deal with Marvel to create Warhammer comics. I know they've done a few little comics before but I think that was with Dark Horse or maybe some English company, I'm not sure. But they have done some 40k comics before but this is... They're going to the best, like DC and Marvel are the two best comic book companies in the world. Well, they're the biggest anyway. And this is going to be a big deal when it comes out. So it's not coming out for a year, so surely throughout the year there's going to be a lot more details coming through. And when it does, I'm going to cover it here on the channel. So make sure you guys let me know what you think in the comment section below. Make sure to hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe if you haven't. And once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.